question I get from patients is, what implant is best for me? And, and the short answer is there is no implant that's perfect for every person. Uh, one of the benefits that, that women have today is the vast amount of uh, various implants and choices that they have. Uh, breast augmentation in this day and age can truly be individualized to each person. Uh, at the initial consultation, uh, I'll, I'll see the patient, uh, do measurements of the chest and breast area, and then after that, we do a sizing uh, process where the patient has the opportunity to actually try on implants, see what they would look like in the mirror. Once we get an idea of what volume and size they'd like to be, I use those measurements along with their sizing procedure to decide which implant is going to be best for them. And we're going to go over those sizes in just a minute along with the different implants. Women have lots of options in terms of implants nowadays, and, and, uh, which is great in terms of individualizing the breast augmentation to each patient, but sometimes can be a, a daunting procedure of deciding what implant is best for them. Uh, like I said earlier, it uh, typically starts with measurements because what you want is for the implant to be the exact width of the breast. Uh, if the implant is too wide, it can make patients look heavy. If the implant is too narrow, it doesn't give them the, the medial cleavage and fullness that they typically want. Uh, by doing the sizing, the imaging, and even having patients send me uh, pictures of what they would like to, to look like, it gives me an idea of what they're trying to achieve, and then we can use whatever implant is best for them. Let me start to, to the right here. One of the things that really helps us is that there's various uh, profiles. When people talk about a high or moderate profile, it's talking about the different projection of the implant. And as you can see here, you can have the same uh, volume of implant, but a much wider, flatter implant, which is going to give people a little bit more natural, softer look. Or you can have a higher profile implant, which allows uh, a patient to have more volume, more fullness, more upper pole fullness without being wide. And then this can use a larger implant in a smaller patient, which gives patients options. There's even an extra high profile for patients who want more volume so that, again, the implant isn't too wide and fits their chest correctly. One of the newer implants is, is the shaped implants, which uh, you may or may not have heard of. These have been great for breast reconstruction, also for breast augmentation when women want a more natural appearance. Uh, you can see here that they sit in a natural sloped appearance, which gives that nice natural slope and then just the, the fullness uh, underneath the nipple. And these can be, be great for women that want an augmentation but still want a subtle natural uh, appearance. And there's a bunch of different types of shaped implants so that they can, again, be tailored to the individual patient. Um, one last question that I typically get from people is, is the question between the texturing and, and the smooth. Uh, the shaped implants tend to have a textured uh, feel to them because this keeps the implant in the exact position in which I, I put them. The round implants uh, typically do not uh, in the majority of times because they're the same all the way around. So here you do want a little bit of movement which keeps them uh, soft and natural. One of the other questions I get all the time is what is the new gummy bear implant? The gummy bear implant refers to these implants that have a, a thicker gel inside. Some of the benefits of the thicker gel is that patients who are very thin tend to get less rippling and have a more aesthetically uh, appearing result. Sit back and enjoy and I'll see you.